guys. Today I'm going to show you how to copy files from an existing dot loop file into a new dot loop file so that you can download them seamlessly into command. So if you already have a file that you've set up in dot loop and now you want to create an opportunity, it's not going to go out and find that loop. So what you have to do is go in, set up your opportunity. So create your contact, create an opportunity, and then this will be black and it will say start a transaction. So when you click on start a transaction, the little drop down menu will say dot loop. Assuming you've hooked up your dot loop account, that will be an option. You click on that and it will ask you to choose a template. So this, for example, is a listing file. So I would check residential listing template and click go. And it's going to set up a loop for me. So when I hit go to transaction, after that sets that loop up, you're going to see that you're going to have a loop that matches the name of the loop that you or the opportunity that you had in command. So that automatically creates a loop in dot loop and it's going to be empty. There's not going to be anything in here. This is one I was working with yesterday. So you're going to just see an empty loop that will not have any files in it. Okay. Then what you're going to do is go to your other dot loop. So go into dot loop and find the loop where you have the files that you want to then copy into the new loop. So your new loop will be in your account. This is the one that I just created by hooking up my command to this particular loop in dot loop. Now I'm looking at the rest of my loops. I want to go to the loop where I have the files that I want to copy into the new loop. I choose that file. I go ahead and click on any of the files that I want copied. If you want them all, you click on the little box on the top. If you just want to do a one or two individual forms, you can do that as well just by checking them individually. You'll notice when I check that box, a new menu comes up. I want to say make a copy. And I'm going to copy them as a dot loop document into a loop. So I leave copy as a dot loop document into a loop. It, by the way, if you have these files already signed, then you should copy them as a flat PDF that will preserve the signatures. They will not be editable in the new loop, but it will preserve the signature. So copy as a flat PDF if they're all completed and you're moving them over to this new loop. Click on to loop and then it's going to ask you to search where you want to send them. So you have to know the name of the loop you're sending them to. I want to send these files over to one dot loop way. So I click on that. It's asking me if I want to put it in the required listing forms folder, buyer forms, or other. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually going to put this in the buyer forms because I have forms already in required listing, just as an example, that you can put them in whatever folder works for you. You hit copy, and it tells you it's importing them, and you click OK. okay. So now what I've done is take files out of this particular loop that I'd already created, which was not connected to my command account. And I sent them over here into the loop that I connected to my command account. And this way I'm going to be able to download them. Okay. So I'm going to do a little refresh here. And you'll see that those buyer forms that I had, or those their listing forms that I had in that other file are now copied here. So now to download them into command, it's very simple. I go back to my command account. I want to sync this so that it has the most up-to-date information that was in my loop. And you'll see it gets that error message a lot. I just ignore it and it doesn't seem to be a problem. So now what you'll see is if you want to now go ahead and add a file, you click add a file. I go to dot loop. And it's going to show me all of the forms in that loop. Okay, so here, these were the forms that were already there. If I scroll down, these are the forms that I copied into this file. They're here. Now, all I have to do is choose whatever form I'm looking for, click assign, and I have it into dot loop. So this is to, so that if you have pre-existing loops, in order to get those files in command, you do not have to download them and re-upload them, which is a lot of work. You can simply copy them from one loop into the other loop, one that you created that you hooked to your command account, and then simply download them. All right? Call me, guys, if you have any questions about this. I'd be happy to go over it with you. Thanks for watching.